hello friends my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to install Tomcat 8 on the Windows machine so let's go ahead and uh, open the browser and go to the Google and try to uh, search for the Tom cat download and here you get the tomcat uh, official website if you see in the left panel of this home page you have a download section and in download section you have a tomcat 6 7 8 and 9 so 9 is not just the, this is in just in development phase so this is not the stable a stable version of 9 is not released yet if you go to the which version and here you can see in Apache Tomcat 9 so saying that Apache Tomcat 9 is current focus of development so this is not uh, Apache Software Foundation have not released a stable version of 9 so for this demo purpose so that's why I'm going to choose uh, Tomcat 8 so if you click on the Tomcat 8 and here you have a binary distribution section in this binary distribution section you have a core so here uh, either you can download zipped version of Tom Tomcat or you can download uh, executable files or exe files so actually these two Tomcats are already I have downloaded and I have kept on my local machine if you try to click over here so this is telling you to download tomcat 8 exe file so that already i have downloaded on my local machine and if you click over here then this is telling you to download the zipped version so for this demo basically i'm going to choose this one last word which which gives you to download uh, this this gives you uh, option to download the exe file of the tomcat and that exe file already I have downloaded over here and I'm going to install on my windows machine so you have to click twice on this exe file say yes now click on the next button I agree then next button then you can see over here so Tomcat has a several port number so uh, if you try to download the Tom, uh, if you try to shut down the tomcat then uh, request goes to the 8005 and this is editable so you can give the any four digit number now when you send the http request to the tomcat then that goes to the 8080 that is the default port and this port you can change right now or after installation also you have uh, option to change it now uh, if you want to integrate a apache httpd httpd server with apache tomcat then you will have uh, uh, apj uh, connector port and for that apache uses 8009 and uh, of course you can give the windows service name you can that default name is tomcat 8 so i'm going to keep as it is and uh, if you want to provide username and pass password for uh, tomcat admin then of course you can pro provide but i am going to keep blank and roles is by default is taking as the uh, manager ui so everything i am keeping just as it is and click on the next button now uh, while installing the tomcat you will have to specify the jre directory so that is uh, and make sure that this directory exists in your machine so if i check over here so this is my jre directory so that's not an issue for me now click on the next button now uh, you can choose your installation directory anywhere in your uh, hard disk so by default that is coming under the uh, program files apache software foundation tomcat 8.5 so i'm keeping just i'm choosing this default location then click on the next install button now installation is finished so click on the finish now 
now tomcat 8 is installed on my machine so to start tomcat i'm going to my directory where i have installed my tomcat so that is inside the program files and this is the directory where i have installed my tomcat so this directory is automatically created so apache software foundation inside that we have Tom, tomcat 8.5 and within that we have a bean directory so here just open the command prompt by, by writing cmd so your command prompt is pointing in bean directory of your tomcat and here we will have to type a start dot bat for and press enter so tomcat is uh, tomcat was supposed to start but uh, uh, error is an error is coming saying that neither the java home nor the J jre home environment variable is defined at least one of these the environment variable is needed to run this program so in your environment variable either you will have to set java home or uh, jre home directory so let's go ahead and set my java home directory so java home directory is nothing but your jdk home directory so jdk i have installed over here java and this is my jdk home directory so i just right click on my computers so and go to the properties and here you have option advanced system setting click over here now select advanced tab and on the bottom you have a option is called environment variable select this one so you can you can define you can set your uh, jdk or java home directory within the user variable section or system variable so if you set within the user variable then that will be allowed for the only one user together and if you set uh, java home in the system variable then that will allow for the all users so in in the system variables i'm going to choose uh, i'm going to click on the new and in variable name i'm going to specify it java underscore home and jdk home directory i'm going to paste it over here so to run tomcat either we'll have to set java home or jre home directory so and click on the ok finally so i have set it java home and if you want to set your jre home directory so here is your jre home directory if you install jdk then you will have uh, two directory jdk as well as jre so i have set a jdk and that is enough to run tomcat if you check here set java home set a space java home still uh, command prompt is not recognizing these things so you will have to close it and again you need to open your command prompt so go to this path and type cmd and press enter so command prompt is getting open and that is pointing on the tomcat bean directory now if you type set java underscore home then this will show you right this is showing so i had already set it java home directory in my environment variable so this location is showing over here now you can start tomcat so start dot by bad file and click and enter on the enter so now tomcat has started now open the browser and type here http colon slash slash local host and we have a http port 8080 and press enter so now our tomcat home directory is getting displayed so this way we can run the tomcat if you want to shut down tomcat using command prompt then you will have a bad file again shut down dot bad and press enter and tomcat is getting shut down now you if you try to access it then this will be not available anymore so this way you can install tomcat on your windows machine you can start tomcat using command prompt and as well as you can shut down 
tomcat so here you can see some errors right so this is error because of uh, saying that some log file is not accessible for me but still tomcat is uh, we are able to run the tomcat so you can see the uh, log error saying that file not found exceptions but still my tomcat is running because some te uh, log text file is there so that is not accessible for me somehow but look at the access is denied right so that is for the local host 2017 dot log file this is not accessible for me. still we are able to run the tomcat so we can avoid this error that's not an issue so this is the way to install tomcat on the windows machine using tomcat e tomcat exe file but uh, as i told you if you go to the tomcat uh, website then there is one more option we have one more option to download tomcat that is using tomcat zipped version we have a tomcat zipped version as well right so if you download this tomcat zipped version then you don't need to install it explicitly by clicking and uh, you will have to uh, follow some process by uh, like uh, we had installed earlier using exe file so once you download this zip version of tomcat and you extract it then tomcat is installed on your machine and you can start working on this so in next video uh, i'm going to show you how to configure tomcat uh, in eclipse so that's all i wanted to do so in this video tutorial guys so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial thank you so much